Tyler is uh, my new assistant. I think Tyler is a great fit for Jeff Lewis Design. I really like his work ethic. He's here five, six days a week. So really he's become kind of my right hand man. So I rely a lot on him. He's qu a quiet one, but that's okay because you know, there's a lot of windbags in this office. You know, I think he did send us his resume and I think he really just kept following up. Sending it again, wondering if there's any openings, sending it again, like, you know, by being in front of our faces, uh, when we needed someone, we said, bring him in, bring him in, let's interview him. He's young, but you know, I don't think he has an attitude. He doesn't seem to have the millennial way. I did hear he was late by 40 minutes a few times, but I think that he's corrected that. Frankie is someone who um, I was acquainted with because whenever I would go to Vegas, which is twice a year for market, he was my driver. He said that you know Uber was killing his business because he, um, he was working for a company, um, like a car service company. I said to him, I said, hey, if you wanna come out to LA, I could probably find a job for you. And he did. And uh, we, most of the time, are, are working well together. The last time we saw Paul, he was working for your father. Mm -hmm. And then now somehow he's working for you. How did that happen? Well, my dad repeatedly on a loop said that I really needed him and he would really help me with my business. And um, my dad really sold it. So I gave Paul a chance. In hindsight, maybe I wouldn't have you know, listened to my, my dad was really pushing him, really pushing him. But then don't you at that, I mean, if you're smart, which apparently I'm not, don't you say to yourself, God, if, you, if he really is this talented and he's such a hard worker and he's so valuable, why are you letting him go? Because you've got 11 properties. Couldn't he be working for you? But I honestly thought that my dad, like, wow, you know, what a great guy that he really wants to help my business. That's not my dad. What my dad realized is like, I've got to get rid of this dead weight. I feel bad. I don't want to fire him. So I'm going to make my son take over the dead weight.